This video shows how to calibrate a Logix 3800 positioner. After the positioner has been installed, it must be calibrated. The positioner will need to be mounted on the valve, fully tubed, powered, and all the dip switches set per your valve configuration. Refer to the video titled Logix 3800 Positioner Dip Switch Setup to set the dip switches. Next, verify that the LEDs are blinking. This indicates that the positioner is correctly powered and ready for calibration. Now verify that there are no obstructions, including tools or fingers in the area of the actuator and plug stem. This is a critical verification because the calibration will stroke the valve, moving the plug stem up and down. Remove the six outer housing bolts to access the quick calibration button and dip switch internal configuration. Note that some models only have four bolts. If you are not setting the dip switches at this time, there is an alternate quick access door that can also be used. Next, start the calibration by pressing and holding the quick cal button for at least three seconds. Remember that during the calibration, the valve fully strokes twice. Once the calibration is completed, you will see a four blink code and the first blink in the code will be green if the calibration was successful. If the first blink is yellow, then refer to the manual for further instructions. For fine tuning the positioner, use the gain dial to adjust the response. With auto tune enabled, setting the gain at E typically creates a good balance between the speed of the stroke and accuracy. For a faster response, use higher letters. F through J. For a slower response, use the lower letters, A through D. The small arrow on the dial, not the slot, must point to your desired setting. With the auto-tune off, refer to the manual for configuring this setting. When reinstalling the main cover, it is important to ensure the correct torque is applied to the bolts. This will help to maintain the required gap between the cover and the housing and meet regulatory certification. Please refer to your product instruction and operations manual for specifications. Lastly, all the plastic conduit plugs should be permanently replaced with the appropriate metal plug. This will help to ensure no contamination is introduced into the positioner. 